Well, do I have some very interesting Harley news to share with you guys. So hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I was at my local dealership the other day and I found out something really interesting talking to the sales guys and uh, talked to a couple other dealers and I found out that um, at least in their understanding this is to be true. Uh, did some digging on the Harley Davidson website and uh, I think they they are onto something. So it seems like in 2025 Harley will be discontinuing both the Limit and the Ultra. Now, as the owner of both motorcycles through the years, was, I was a little taken back by that decision. But in thinking about it, I think that Harley's onto something that's going to make a lot more sense in the long run. So if you've been to the Harley Davidson site, you've noticed that they're selling these packages. They're selling um, you know, all kinds of packages for audio updates, the ST package. And one of the packages that caught my eye, and, and after talking to the... Uh, sales team was that they have a long haul accessory pack. So what that's going to do is it's going to give you a touring seat. It's going to give you passenger footrests. It's going to give you the mount for your tour pack and then the tour pack uh, bracket or the plate, whatever you want to call it. Now, where I think this is interesting is this is taking a uh, page out of the playbook of Victory. Victory was notorious for having these packages. And I think it's a really cool idea because if you're a Harley deal, a Harley buyer, you buy a bike, you're really not sure, you know, you're, you're not hardcore into the scene. You can select the package and make the bike your own and, and take it from a standard uh, bike to a touring bike. Now, if you look at something like the Road Glide, I guess we're calling it the standard, it's the basic. Harley's getting away from making a lot of special models, right? And, and it makes sense because they're streamlining the lineup. It makes sense from a financial standpoint. It makes sense from a customer standpoint because you, you could buy, let's in the case of Rogue Glide, you could buy the Rogue Glide standard. You could buy the special. You could buy the limited. Now, where I think this muddies the waters a little bit is that even though you can buy the long haul package, it doesn't come with a tour pack. Now, in that, I think that's actually the genius move is that this way, if you want to ride, you want to make it into a limited and you want more storage, you can buy a Razor tour pack. You can buy the, the medium tour pack, then I remember the name, or you can buy a King tour pack. So if you're buying a bike and you're buying it, say, um, you're not really sure, you're buying your first big motorcycle, you can go ahead and buy the, the Road Glide it comes with RDRS, so you, you have a good touring platform to build on. Then you could buy a package later and turn it into a limited. Now, you can't quite turn it into a limited because it doesn't come with the audio system that the limited like mine has with the built-in speakers. Um, my wife likes the speakers in the back. She feels that it, she's a little bit more um, wrapped around as far as passenger comfort. But again, that's that's just subjective as to what works for her. The other thing with that too is that this bike was really meant, um, the Limited was designed quite some time back that people aren't using the audio system of their bikes the way they once were. So having a comm, which is the way most of this is going, really makes sense that Harley can save money on production by not putting in a radio not putting in all the things that people aren't going to use and they're going to move to a headset. So it does streamline the, the system, the, the, it streamlines the models, which I think makes it a little easier. It makes it less confusing for the consumer. The downside of this is now you're forced to sort of buy an a la carte bike where you have to buy the bike, then you have to buy the, the kit, then you have to buy the, the tour pack. I mean, the tour pack's no joke. If you, if you don't go aftermarket, I think the Harley pack is about uh, a K. So you're spending a grand for that. You're spending, you know, another a grand and a half for the tour, for the kit, if not more, depending on, you know, the market variations. So in some ways, I really like what Harley's doing, but, but I, I'm really kind of taken back that they're going to be doing away with two of their most iconic models. I mean, the Limited is, is a, it, it's a bike you see everywhere. Um, it's certainly, you know, the limited, the ultra pretty much are the, 
give or take, they're the same bike. I've owned both of them. I've absolutely loved them. You know, in talking to the sales guys, they're saying that they're not selling these bikes. So these bikes aren't selling the way that they used to sell, which does sort of make sense because Harley's going all in in a younger market and they're definitely pivoting that way. So it makes sense to do away with these bikes. And if you want a bike and you want a tour pack like that, you can always add it on later. And now you have a chance of having that limited touring bike. The interesting thing that I thought too, was if you buy that bike, say you buy that bike in your thirties, you're, you're a single guy, you're doing your touring yourself. Now, if you want to ride a pad or add a passenger and you want to do more touring, you can add those accessories. So I think it does make the longevity of the bike longer. You know, and Harley's really gone in this cutting cost things. They're, I, I, it boggles my mind, but you don't get maps included. You have to, you have to activate that service when you buy the Harley. Um, so it makes sense from a, from a business standpoint of cutting, uh, cutting costs. But it really surprised me that we're going to be doing away with these two iconic Harley Davidson models. Um, like I said, I've talked to a bunch of dealerships. Those are the bikes that aren't selling. The, the Limited and the, the Ultras are not selling. And it does kind of make sense when you look at it is that if they're going to phase them out, this is why we didn't see an upgrade this year. Because there's no point. They're not going to continue the bike. They are if you want to upgrade the bike, but in its its normal off the off the lot version of the limited, it's no longer going to exist. And I think, that, like I said, I think that's an interesting direction for Harley. They're showing that it's becoming a more modern brand. They're doing away with the the older models, the the models that were sort of marketed to the, uh, an older generation of riders. Although they are classic models, they're becoming they're beginning to push to a more a modern classic and changing um, the bikes that they're really trying to market hard. And I think that comes with bringing diversity into Harley and into their lineup. To the point of diversity, I've seen more videos this week about everybody's upset because Harley's becoming a diversity brand and this that and everybody's quitting Harley. Can we stop? Can we just, for the love of God, can we stop? I don't know why, but every year during the homecoming event, people have a meltdown. It was the Bud Light cans and the, everybody was selling their Harleys, which they didn't. Now it's the meltdown of, you know, politics and, and, and hiring you know, different people. We got to stop this. We got to stop the drama of Harley riders. Ride your ride. Enjoy your bike. Stop. Stop trying to fight against change. This is the lineup change. This is the way the world is. Really all I had, I thought it was really interesting in talking to the dealers and, and kind of diving into it. Haven't done one of these talking ads in a while. So just kind of wanted to get together and uh, put a video, talk to you guys. Uh, weather in New Jersey has been absolute shit. So I haven't been riding much. It's really killed any install. So I figured I'd just uh, kind of do this talking ad, share the information with me or with you and see what you guys thought. I'd really be curious of your opinion. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's a good move by Harley Davidson? Do you think it's a bad move? And um, would you buy a standard road glide, street glide, and then be okay with building the bike up? Or would you much rather buy the bike off the lot the way you wanted it? It's an interesting point. I think it could be um, it could be a benefit both ways. But anyway, guys, that's all I had. Just wanted to touch base with you. Like I said, leave a comment. Check out my affiliate links in the description. And please remember, as always, you're not alone. Thanks for watching, guys.